Good day, math learners! I'm back! In this topic, we will discuss about counting techniques. Counting techniques. We need to get to know these terms first before we go on to our discussion for counting techniques. Probability is a branch of mathematics that provides quantitative description of the likely occurrence of the specific event. In, proba in probability theory, experiments are conducted repeatedly and infinitely, while observation of the outcomes of this experiment are studied. For these outcomes, the probability of the event is calculated. For simplicity, the following terms are described. First, experiment refers to any situational activity that involves chance. So there's a chance. It can be in form of making observations or taking measurements, to be exact. Outcome is any possible result of an, on, of an experiment. When it's a sample, space is the complete list of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Event it refers to any, sub, any subset of a sample space. Different counting techniques. First, that will be the table of values. Second, the tree diagram. The third one, that will be systematic listing. We'll tackle first table of values. One technique in counting events is to tabulate values. Example number one. Find the number of outcomes in tossing a coin twice or tossing a coin twice. Solution. When a coin is tossed, there are two possible outcomes, the head and the tail. Okay. So again, when a coin toes, there are two possible outcomes, the head or the tail. Example. This will be the head. And this will be the tail. Okay? If we toast this one, so there will be two possible outcomes. That's why if we toast this one, that will be head, or it could be it could be head, it could be tail. If the coin is toast twice, if the possible outcomes can be determined by a using a grid table. A grid table is also called a product table. In the grid table below, the rows represent the possible outcomes. Okay, the rows represent the possible outcomes and the columns represent the possible outcomes in the second toast. Okay. So, this will be the result. Okay, for head, the result for head, it could be if we toast two coins, that will be head head or it could be head tail for tail it could be the result is tail head or tail tail so each cell is an intersection of a row and a column the first cell contains the outcome of head head the second cell contains the outcome of head tail the third cell contains the outcome of tail head and the fourth cell contains the outcome of tail tail therefore there are four possible outcomes that will be head 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 tail tail head and the last one the tail tail example number two maria plans to eat merienda and go to shopping if she has a choice of four snack counters and three shopping malls. In how many ways can Sheila spend her afternoon? So, we will try to figure out. Solution. Okay, snack counters. This will, these are the snack counters. Okay, the four snack counters that Maria plants. McDonald's, Jollibee, Pizza Hut, KFC. These are the three shopping malls. The Mega Mall, Grand Mall, Robinson's. 
Okay? So, if if Maria plans to eat McDonald's in Mega Mall, or it could be it, or she could be planned in Grand Mall to eat McDonald's, or in Robinson's. Same as Jollibee, if you if she planned to eat in Jollibee Mega Mall, or in Grand Mall, or in Robinson's. Also, if you want, if she want to eat Pizza Hut. She can go to Mega Mall or in Grand Mall or Robinson's. For KFC, she can go to Mega Mall, KFC, and Robinson's. There are many choices. That's why we need to figure out for that. The table shows that Sheila has 12 ways to spend her afternoon. So there are 12 ways. These are the ways that Sheila or Maria has 12 ways to spend her afternoon. Okay. The next one that will be the tree diagram. Another technique in counting is drawing a tree diagram. A tree diagram is a picture of all possible outcomes as an event unfolds. The use of line segments emanate, em, emanating from an event to an outcome helps in counting all possible outcomes. This technique is used if the number of possibilities is not too big. This technique can only be used for events that do not affect the outcome for each other. Example, a student is choosing between science or math as a course, as a course of study an intent to enroll in UP, DL, DLSU or De La Salle, or Ateneo de Manila University or ADMU. How many ways can a course and a school be chosen? This will be. Solution. So course for science, math, school. The three school that will UP deals with you. So we will use the three diagram for science. She can go to UP. Or the student can go to La Salle or DLSU or to Ateneo. For math, you can also enroll in UP or in La Salle or in Ateneo. So it means that the outcome for this one, that will be science UP, science DLSL, DLSU, science Ateneo de Manila University, for math, math to UP, math to DLSU, math to Ateneo de Manila University. As you can see the outcome, there are six possible outcomes or six possible choices. And that will be our answer. How many two-digit numbers can be formed using the digits of 2, 3, and 4? If no repetition is allowed, condition for A, and B, repetition is allowed. Solution. So this will be a systematic way of determining the number of possibilities is by using three diagram as shown below. Okay, first, for no repetition allowed, two, three, four. So for, because no repetition, we use three, four. So it could be two, three. The possibilities could be two, three, and two, four. For the first digit, three. So no repetition, two and four. So it could be three, two, three, four. For number four, or the first digit, four. So no repetition, use two, three. So, 4, 2, and 4, 3. And these are the possibilities. Therefore, there are 6 two-digit numbers formed without repetition. Okay? 4 repetition is allowed for letter B. So, repetition here is already allowed. So, 2 can be repeated. That's why 2, 3, 4. And the possibilities will be 2, 2. 
two, three, two, four. For the first digit, three, so two, three, four. So the result or the possibility is three, two, three, 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 four. For four as our first digit, it could be four, two, four, three, and four, four. This will be. So these are the possibilities. Therefore, there are nine two-digit numbers formed with repetition. Now let's go to the last one that will be the systematic listing. This counting technique involves coming up with an actual list of all possible outcomes. This is only used for events that involve fairly short list. Example, how many three-digit even numbers can be formed using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3? So there are four digits, 0, 1, 2, 3. There are only three digits to choose from for the first digit of the even number. That will be 1, 2, 3. There are four digits to choose from for the second digit of the even number. That will be 0, 1, 2, 3. There are only two digits to choose from the four of uh, from for the third digit of our even number that will be zero two. And this will be the even numbers are one hundred, one hundred two, one hundred ten, hundred twelve, hundred twenty, hundred twenty two, hundred thirty, hundred thirty two. For two that will be 200, 202, 210, 212, 220, 222, 230, 232. For the first digit 3, that will be 300, 302, 310, 312, 320, 322, 330, and so on. Therefore, there are 24, 24 three digit even numbers as our result. So the answer is 24. Example number six, how many three digit numbers can be made from the digits one, two, and three? For A, allowing no repetition of the digit. For B, allowing repetition. So allowing no repetition of the digits of 1, 2, 3, so that could be 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Therefore, six numbers are formed if no repetition is allowed. For B, allowing repetition, so the numbers are repeated for the given 1, 2, 3, so these are 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on. So these are the numbers that even the numbers is already repeatedly used, so it's still counted because allowing repetition. So all the possibilities are 27 numbers are formed if repetition, repetition is allowed. This will be the answer. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment. Thanks for listening. Also, don't forget to click and subscribe.